Yeah, I know, it's not a woodworking project, but I used wood and I was working. <laughs> this is the side yard of my house and here is my gate, which is in dire need of replacing. And I say replacing because it's beyond the point of repair. The whole thing needs to come down and be rebuilt. As you can see, all of the joints are falling apart and the wood itself is all rotting. All of these slats are just coming apart. The whole thing is sagging. The turnbuckle is busted. Uh, it needs new hinges. What I'm most concerned about are these side posts and I'm not sure what to do about that. It's really loose as you can tell. Um, but it looks like it's in a hole in the concrete and I think I'm gonna see if it'll just come right out of there. Maybe I can just drop a new one in and set some new concrete. much discussion on Facebook and trying to figure out ways to get these posts into the already existing concrete hole, I decided to get one of these kind of brackets that will drop down into the hole and I can put my post on it. Unfortunately, this isn't going to work because it's too big. These holes are exactly the size of the post and so I don't want to have to break that away or anything. <laughs> so. I'm gonna go with plan B and just put some cement in there and drop the posts in. So when that post goes in there, it needs something to anchor to on this side and I don't wanna just anchor it only to the fence. So what I'm going to do is anchor it to the concrete here just using some brackets. I stuck these into those same holes using cement, not concrete, and it's a special type of cement that apparently adheres to concrete and also is good for anchoring and that sort of thing. So I'm giving it a shot and mix it up kind of thin, but it's, it's drying really fast. So my drill won't fit into this space here. So I've got this funky little right angle drill that I got a long time ago and I think I've used it about three times, but when you need it, it's the only thing that'll get the job done. <laughs> Well, these posts may not look the prettiest and I got kind of messy with my cement down here, but uh, these things are really, really sturdy. So now I can go ahead and get started on the gate itself. What I've got here is an opening that's 50 inches wide. So I think I'm going to make my cross posts 49 inches wide so that there's room for it to swing open. I've cut the pieces and I'm just making sure that I'm square diagonally. And when I say square, I don't mean that this is actually square because it's not. The posts that I set in the concrete out there aren't exactly plumb. <laughs> so they're about a uh, half inch, three quarters of an inch off at the top. So I had to make, this is the top piece, I had to make it slightly bigger than the bottom piece. I just cut this piece at about a two degree angle just so that it'll fit in there nicely. I'm gonna hold all this together with some construction adhesive and three inch deck screws. My cross piece will fit in just like this and the only thing I want to make sure is that I have it in the right location so that the hinges are going to be on this side. This is going to be the top so all of the pressure of the gate is going to be forced down this way. I've clamped the gate onto the post and I put some shims in there that are equal all the way down. Now I can go ahead and put these hinges on. Yay. I 
think I'm going to have to cut all of these pickets at slightly different lengths because the ground isn't level here and it actually slopes down into a drain. I'm going to just make sure that I get the tops level. I'm going to leave a gap between each one and they're not going to fit across there evenly so there's going to have to be a cut thinner piece that I'm going to put on the ends. To open the gate from the outside, I've put in one of these little cable poles, which just goes through the post. This last board is the one that I ripped down narrow, and over on this side, I just split one right down the middle where the hinge goes. For a little bit more information on building the gate, click this link up here. And in case you missed last week's back to school project, click right here for the locker docker. And if you enjoy my videos and would like to see a new woodworking video every Friday, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the link on my forehead.